Welcome, gentle folk of the internet, my fellow deplorables. Today we're going to take a look at this thing nice and slow. Uh, I've put out some fla fast, flashy videos, and I am not a fast, flashy guy. I uh, just not. So today we're just going to do a little walk around on this guy. Um, it's really simple. All it is is a big aluminum box that can go left and right, up and down. Now, where it gets interesting is these Picatinny rails and these connectors. Now, these big connectors, they allow you to hook up 12 volt accessories. So things like this LED light, which you would find on probably any truck out there that's worth a shit. Um, it also powers these Galvarinos, which are just little trigger pulley boxes. Uh, I got some other videos on how they work. But yeah, just 12 volts, turn it on and off, pulls the trigger, pretty simple. Um, what else we got? We got a little laser. You can put all sorts of things on here and I, I fully expect that <laughs> should these systems really take off in the civilian world, we're gonna see an explosion of accessories. I mean, just think, it's so easy to adapt all this 12 volt stuff we already have to be uh, a little helpful in your home security system. The other thing we got is these little ports and um, that's just a little USB port. And so you can put common USB accessories on here. So <clears throat> I'm still working on the accessories. I really focused a lot of my energy on the solid aluminum castings and um, solid AR500 <laughs> plate steel armor on there, uh, spring loaded. Uh, we might even shoot this thing today. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, the USB, just power some USB cameras. Right now they're 3D printed. Um, someday they will be metal extrusions. Um, working on a wiper system, uh, heater, cooler, uh, rain detection so that these will be really tricked out cameras. Uh, these are just visual range cameras for now. Um, but you can just imagine all of the USB accessories you can put on this. Thermal, night vision, uh, LiDAR, radar, you name it, uh, there's, uh, there's a whole lot you can do. Um, this little camera is lined up on the same axis as this uh, uh, little, uh, what, they, what do they call, a little red dot scope. Um, so you can look through the scope remotely, essentially, and pull the trigger remotely. This is, this is nothing more than a really sophisticated... Um, what do you call those things? Like a periscope gun from World War One. This is just the 1990s version of that. I say 1990s because this technology is, I mean, we're looking at USB and some motors. It's not complicated. Putting it together in this beautiful package, a little bit complicated. A little bit of, little bit of work went into that. Um, but I mean, you can just see that's, that's about all there is. Um, there's a sli slip ring, the wires come out the bottom for power and control. And this thing is sitting here, um, powered on, and even when it's moving around, it draws about, I don't know if you can see that, uh, 30 watts just sitting here. Of course, um, if you turn on bright lights, 100 watt lights, it's gonna draw 130 watts. So whatever accessories come onto this, that are put onto this thing, it's, it's gonna draw a little extra power, but just basic sentry with a light, you're looking at 30 watts nominal, 130 with the light. So a nice, really low power unit. You could do power over ethernet. I don't have that set up yet. I'm just using an extension cord and a 48 volt supply. It takes 36 to 72 volts. So a nice robust range. Um, and, and that's really it. It is, I think of it as the, the AR-15 of the future and ARs become an accessory on it. And then they have all their accessories. Just think of the possibilities. It's, it's gonna be really cool uh, to see people get these in their hands and um, start doing really cool shit with them. Um, 
So just a little bit on, on some of the philosophy behind this. Um, you know, I moved to a big city, saw all these ultra wealthy people, armed guards, um, armed homes, is secure in their homes while they destroy the country and leave us to fend for ourselves while taking away our means to do so. So I thought, <clears throat> why don't we make a home security system for the average person um, so that they can be as well protected as the richest people in our country? And this is it. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't really have a great business plan, um, essentially how I want to do this. The first 10 units, uh, I want to sell for $30,000 each, which is a lot, but I need that money for the tooling, custom PCBs, custom extrusion dies, um, injection molding, um, molds, that kind of thing, engineering time. I can't quite do all the engineering my work, work out myself in a one year that I've allotted. So, uh, the first 10 people will get pretty much custom built units, um, the first 10 serial numbers, and imagine you could go back time, in time and buy Eugene Stoner's serial numbers one, well I guess this is serial number one, but serial number two through 12. Um, imagine what that would be worth in 30 years. So 30 grand for the first one, it's basically, these people are donating to the cause, but they get a really kick-ass unit. It won't come with the guns, it'll come with um, a couple basic accessories, um, probably just two cameras and a light. Um, I think the market for accessories is going to explode though. Uh, once I put out a defined standard interface, anyone can start developing accessories for this. And I mean, you can imagine some company taking their optic, integrating a camera and having a USB cable come out of it, uh, really slick. Um, so that's the first 10 units. The next 90 units, serial numbers, what would that be, like 13 to 103, I guess? Uh, I'll be selling those for 10 grand each. Those will be uh, delivered um, two years from now. The first 10 units will be delivered one year from July 4th, 2023, so July 4th, 2024. Um, after those 100 units, which are expensive and basically like asking for charity on my part from the first 100 people who buy these. I think the unit cost for this will come down to around $3,000. And honestly, there's no reason it can't be cheaper than that. Um, I don't want to say that it will be lower than 3000 because that's a long ways away. <laughs> a lot of uh, hurdles to overcome. But I've solved all the major problems. Uh, a lot of the things wrong with this are due to the fact that I machined this on way too small of a CNC, on way too small of a manuals machining center, things like that, where I just had little mistakes and I only had one set of castings. So there's some slop in the system, things like that. But it still works really well. Um, so yeah, that's that's the final goal of the philosophy is to have a $3,000 or less home defense system. And you don't have to deck it out with ARs, right? You can put pepper spray on there. You can put lights. You can put paintball pepper spray things. Whatever you think you need for your situation. You know, this setup is like your government has failed completely. The border's wide open. Um, <laughs> you know, just criminals run amok on your streets. Um, this is a, a last ditch configuration, but you know, it's the flashiest, it's, it's the coolest looking. So that's why I set it up this way. Um, but you can imagine this with just lights, um, maybe speakers and a microphone and, you know, little stuff like that to just deter people. You could put a big siren on here, um, whatever you think is appropriate for your situation. Um, yeah, let's go take a look at the, at the control center, control center. Uh, it's pretty janky right now, but I am in the middle of nowhere. There's a little Honda over there. Again, this is only drawing 30 watts right now. So, <clears throat> you can have any computer. This is a little Raspberry Pi computer that I built. Um, you can see it in some of the other videos. So, this didn't really work as well as I wanted to, but 
You can unholster, unholster your mouse. I thought it'd be cooler than it, than it is. Uh, plug in your little mouse here. Of course, the USB is backwards. Um, yeah. Let this thing boot up. Oh, why did it do that? Hmm. Now, let's see if we can get the monitor to connect. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're probably just going to be looking at a lot of reflections of me. So I don't know if I'll be able to show too much of the interface, the user interface. But this is it. There's um, Ethernet cable going to a hub. Um, and then this is just a monitor to make it a little easier on my old eyes. Um, you can imagine a, a rugged little laptop or yeah, the world is so amazing now. This could even be a set of goggles and you're controlling this through VR. Very easy to do. Um, you know, it's just a matter of some engineering time. But uh, yeah, this will be the command center where I'm running it. Um, I'm gonna show you how to load a mag. Not that if you're watching this, you don't know how to. Actually, maybe I can't because that YouTube stuff. Uh, we'll just set them over here. Yeah, that's it. That's the that's the whole setup. We'll be shooting at the berm down there. I'd say it's 50, 50 to 70 yards away will be the targets. And um, yeah, I'm gonna just come down here to maybe get some cool little footage of this thing. Maybe it'll look cool. Maybe, maybe. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> let's do some, let's do some shit.